Hello today's video we have the following content. What is the real cause of Bruce Lee's death? 49 years later, experts put forward a new cause of death argument. People around the world who heard the news were deeply saddened and shocked. It is unbelievable that such a strong man with a strong physique and proficiency in martial arts could suddenly pass away. Suddenly, all kinds of speculations came like a tide. Some people think that this may be a tragedy caused by emotional entanglements, some think it is caused by sudden health problems, and some people speculate whether Bruce Lee was killed in revenge because he offended someone. Although these speculations are varied, the core is to explore the possible reasons behind Bruce Lee's death. Obviously, it is difficult for the public to accept such a simple explanation to end the brilliant life of a superstar. So, what is the real cause of Bruce Lee's death? And after 49 years, are the new cause of death arguments put forward by experts tenable and can withstand scrutiny? To realize our dreams, we must be down to earth and work hard. This is not just a slogan, but a truth that we need to prove with practical actions. Whether it is learning new knowledge, improving skills, or facing challenges and overcoming difficulties, we need to work hard. Only in this way can we gradually approach our dreams and finally realize them. So, don't be afraid to work hard, because only through unremitting struggle can we make dreams shine into reality. Bruce Lee, the martial arts superstar, is like a bright light of the Chinese in the hearts of the Chinese people. With his extraordinary talent, he successfully presented the traditional cultural treasure of Chinese Kung Fu to the global audience and became an outstanding representative of promoting Chinese Kung Fu to the world. On the list of 100 most influential masters of the 20th century carefully selected by Time magazine, Bruce Lee's name is like a bright star, shining brightly, not only illuminating the international stage, but also making countless Chinese people feel extremely proud and proud. Bruce Lee is undoubtedly a model of the times that people deeply respect and often miss. His influence spans the long river of time and has become an eternal role model in the hearts of countless people. In the golden autumn of 1940, Bruce Lee was born in the embrace of San Francisco, USA. His father, Lee Haekwin, is a highly respected Cantonese opera master who has deep connections and rich resources in the entertainment industry. Before Bruce Lee opened his eyes to see the world, he was invited by his father's friend to play a baby star in the movie Golden Gate Girl. This is really born with a halo, which makes people have to sigh at his extraordinariness. This incident quietly planted the seedlings of Bruce Lee's dream of acting in his heart, laying the foundation for his future entry into the entertainment industry. Time flies, Bruce Lee's family returned to Hong Kong, and since he was eight years old, he has entered the film and television industry and participated in the filming of many movies, and most of the roles are inseparable from the martial arts scenes he is good at. Fortunately, Bruce Lee has been practicing martial arts under the guidance of his father since he was a child, and he has a considerable understanding and experience of the skills of Kung Fu. In the process of growing up, Bruce Lee gradually developed a strong interest in martial arts, even to the point of wanting to give up his studies and devote himself to martial arts practice. His love for martial arts is so deep that he once dreamed of becoming a real martial artist. Soon after, Bruce Lee got into trouble because of his love of fighting. Once, he accidentally hurt a classmate in school, and the school decided to expel him because of this behavior. Bruce Lee's father was so angry that he had already made up his mind to send his son back to the United States, and he also made it clear to Bruce Lee that he would not pay for him to continue studying. Bruce Lee suddenly felt uneasy. He had no money on him, so he returned to the United States alone. He worked and studied at the same time, and his life was quite tight. In order to increase his income, he used his free time to open dance and martial arts courses to teach students skills to supplement his family income. Bruce Lee was a talented person who learned quickly. Through unremitting efforts and continuous learning, he successfully entered the gate of Washington State University. In my sophomore year, I opened the Jun Fang Guoshu class, which attracted many students who were passionate about martial arts to sign up for the course. In 1966, Bruce Lee was lucky enough to get the opportunity to perform in the movie The Green Hornet. He cleverly presented the charm of Chinese Kung Fu on the American big screen. This move not only made him instantly widely recognized, but also made his name resound through the sky, truly realizing his road to fame. In 1971, Bruce Lee responded to the call of a Hong Kong film and television company. He chose to return to the land where he grew up and start in an exciting action film called Fist of Fury. In this movie, he fully demonstrated his martial arts talent and superb acting skills. The martial arts scenes of this movie are extremely exciting, attracting a large number of audiences, instantly making the box office soar and breaking previous records. 
Bruce Lee became famous in Asia and attracted much attention. After that, Bruce Lee continued to devote himself to the film industry, and successively filmed classics such as Fist of Fury, Way of the Dragon and Enter the Dragon. With unremitting struggle and self-transcendence, he gradually realized his dream in the film and television industry and achieved remarkable results. Regarding this death, people have different opinions, full of doubts and puzzles, which makes people feel both bizarre and incredible. Bruce Lee's brilliant life should have been closely guarded by many bodyguards and doctors to ensure his safety, but why he suddenly passed away is really hard to understand. Logically, he should have been surrounded by all-round protection, so how could such an accident happen? When Bruce Lee passed away, some Hong Kong media first rushed to publish this unfortunate news. They reported that Bruce Lee passed away peacefully in his own home. Bruce Lee's wife Linda personally confirmed that he died at home, but the news was later revealed by the paparazzi as false, making people doubt whether her previous statement was true. As soon as this news came out, Bruce Lee's death, which was already full of mystery, became even more elusive, as if shrouded in a deeper fog. In subsequent in-depth reports, the media revealed the scene of Bruce Lee, Ding Pei and Zhu and Hui gathering at Ding Pei's home on the day of his death. The exposure of this news immediately triggered widespread speculation among the public about whether there was an emotional entanglement that led to the misfortune. Although Bruce Lee and Ding Pei have publicly stated many times that they are just very close friends, the media still frequently captures the two of them traveling alone, and their behavior reveals an extraordinary closeness, which makes Ding Pei regarded as Bruce Lee's rumored girlfriend by the outside world. Therefore, in this circle, everyone knows the relationship between the two of them, but everyone tacitly keeps silent and does not say it. This relationship is like a tacit understanding that does not require words, and everyone knows it. There were paparazzi following closely and found that Mr. Zhu and Hui left alone that night, while Mr. Bruce Lee did not show up. When everyone saw Bruce Lee again, he had unfortunately passed away, and his body had lost temperature and became cold. In fact, what Bruce Lee experienced at Ding Pei's house became an important clue to solve the mystery of his death. When the public was still confused about the authenticity of this news, the media specially contacted the hospital that provided emergency treatment services to Bruce Lee that day. A person in charge of the hospital clearly pointed out that their ambulance did pick up Bruce Lee from Ding Pei's residence and rushed him to the hospital. As time went on, people became more and more convinced that Bruce Lee's death was related to Ding Pei. They believed that the reason behind this was that Ding Pei's deep love was not responded to, and she felt resentment and impulse in her heart, and finally fell into an emotional dilemma and made irreparable mistakes. Indeed, such speculation is completely groundless. After professional forensic identification, Mr. Bruce Lee's body did not show any signs of trauma, and no obvious toxic substances were detected. Therefore, the various statements circulating in society that Ding Pei was the murderer are obviously untenable. The Hong Kong police and the court jointly set up a special investigation team to conduct detailed inquiries with the people involved in the incident to obtain more clues and information. After some deliberation, I drew a rough outline of a story. At that time, Bruce Lee and Zhu and Hui were immersed in the discussion of the script Game of Death. Their views on the characters coincided, and they talked very congenially, and the atmosphere was quite pleasant. Afterwards, Zhu and Hui proposed that he and Bruce Lee go to Ding Pei's house to discuss the script in depth because Ding Pei would also play a role in it. Bruce Lee immediately nodded in agreement, and the two agreed to go to Ding Pei's residence for a detailed discussion. After arriving at Ding Pei's residence, the three of us once again discussed every detail of the script in depth, as if we were in the world of the play, personally performing our respective roles over and over again, in order to test and adjust the performance effect. Just when everything was going very smoothly, Zuin Hui suddenly received a call saying that there were some urgent matters at home that needed him to go back and deal with immediately. So he apologized to his two friends, politely said goodbye to Ding Pei's house, and returned home first. Now, only Ding Pei and Bruce Lee were left in the room, but unfortunately, Bruce Lee had passed away. Therefore, the narration of the incident that we can hear next is all from Ding Pei's oral narration alone. As for the credibility of these narrations, we still need to further verify and consider them. Ding Pei revealed that after enjoying dinner, the two of them sat down again to discuss the script in depth. Bruce Lee not only shared many of his own unique insights, but also carefully gave valuable suggestions for Ding Pei's role. Suddenly, Bruce Lee covered his chest tightly, and his body bent and squatted unconsciously. He whispered that he felt something was wrong with his body, and his chest felt stuffy as if it was pressed by something heavy 
and his head also had a dull pain, which was obviously uncomfortable. Ding Pei thought that she should ask a doctor to see Bruce Lee's condition, but considering that the doctor's residence was quite far from them, and Bruce Lee's sleep quality had been poor recently, and because of the busyness of the previous period of time, his body was exhausted, so she decided to give Bruce Lee a painkiller to relieve it first. After taking the medicine, Bruce Lee lay down in the bedroom with peace of mind and fell asleep. Ding Pei enjoyed the wonderful TV series alone, and then went out to buy some small items for daily use. When I got home, I found that it had been more than an hour since Bruce Lee took the medicine, but the room was quiet and there was no sound. Ding Pei guessed that he might be too tired, so she didn't disturb him and fell asleep first. Until almost 11.30 in the middle of the night, Ding Pei wondered if she should ask Bruce Lee if he had dinner and when he was going to come home. So she quietly walked into the bedroom and gently called Bruce Lee a few times, but unfortunately, the room was quiet and there was no response. She felt that the situation was not good, and hurriedly pushed Bruce Lee hard, hoping to wake him up, but unfortunately, he was still asleep. Ding Pei immediately called her private doctor and urgently called an ambulance. The doctor rushed to the scene and immediately started emergency treatment and tried to perform cardiopulmonary resuscitation several times, but unfortunately, these efforts failed to save his life. When the ambulance arrived at the scene, the medical staff quickly launched emergency treatment, but unfortunately, all efforts failed to save him, and Bruce Lee still lay there quietly without any response. Ding Pei stood there, her eyes dull, her heart full of disbelief. Recalling that she was still discussing the script with that person in the afternoon, in the blink of an eye, he was lying quietly on the operating table, covered by a white sheet. This scene seemed to tear time apart, making her feel that things are impermanent, as if a whole century had passed. Not long after, Bruce Lee's wife Linda arrived at the scene. She caught a glimpse of the doctor's handwriting on the death certificate, and tears suddenly burst out and she burst into tears. The hospital corridor was filled with a sad atmosphere, and everyone felt endless regret and reluctance for the death of this big star. At this point, we have given the public a preliminary answer, but the real reason for Bruce Lee's death is still shrouded in mystery. The public is still eager to uncover this final mystery and continue to investigate. Deepen the body of the deceased and find the hidden truth. When faced with such a sudden death, our most reliable way is to perform an autopsy to explore and reveal the truth behind it. In this way, the body of the deceased can provide us with valuable clues and answers. However, as a highly regarded superstar, the news of Bruce Lee's autopsy naturally caused an uproar. When fans learn about it, they express their opposition passionately, and they were eager to find a way other than autopsy to uncover the key to this mystery. When it came to the autopsy of Bruce Lee's body, his wife Linda and son Brandon Lee actually had reservations and did not fully agree with this approach. Indeed, although it sounds a bit unacceptable, in order to uncover the true veil of death, we must conduct a detailed autopsy on the body. This step is not only necessary, but also directly related to clearing Ding Pei of suspicion and restoring the truth. Linda finally decided to allow the autopsy with a heavy heart and desperation. She then issued a sincere press statement to explain in detail the reasons behind this difficult decision to her fans and moviegoers who love her around the world. Soon after, a meticulous examination of Bruce Lee's body showed that in addition to the remnants of food, trace amounts of marijuana were found in his stomach. However, the amount of these substances was very low and was not enough to cause death. The forensic doctor conducted a thorough examination and found the presence of painkillers in the process, which were exactly the same as those used by Ding Pei for Bruce Lee. This drug is not suitable for everyone to take, and it contains ingredients that may cause allergies. Some people will have adverse reactions after taking it, and in severe cases, they may even fall into a coma or even endanger their lives. Therefore, it is important to know whether the individual is allergic to the drug before using it. For Bruce Lee, it is obviously unwise to take this drug. So, can him for that Ding Pei indirectly caused Bruce Lee's death to some extent? This statement is closer to daily life, the wording is more accurate, and it retains the core idea of the original paragraph. Due to the lack of conclusive evidence to show that Ding Pei did it intentionally, the court could not make a guilty verdict against Ding Pei. This means that under the current legal framework, there is not enough reason to determine that Ding Pei's behavior was intentional. Therefore, the court had to make a decision that Ding Pei could not be convicted. However, Bruce Lee's followers blamed Ding Pei for his death. Some emotional fans even ran to Ding Pei's door, constantly surrounded her, and made groundless accusations and insults to her. Such behavior is really sad. Ding Pei's life suffered a huge impact due to this series of events. 
She was soon overwhelmed by doubts from all sides and finally decided to leave this glamorous entertainment industry and return to ordinary life. The cause of Bruce Lee's death is still an unsolved mystery. In order to calm the doubts in the public's mind, the project, the staff of the group issued another announcement, stating that they will continue to delve into Bruce Lee's daily habits during his lifetime, striving to unravel this mystery. Thank you for watching the video, please leave your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to press the channel subscription button. If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel,